Hello everyone, my name is Tofia Adamovich, I'm a researcher at Russian Behavioral Genetics Lab and I'm here to present you our work on the net of the classification of the brain functional cognitive unity patterns during the standard working memory task. First, what is our question? The brain could be viewed as a set of competential modules interchanging information within each other according to the demands of the environment. This information transition could be described as a connectivity approach. The synchronization between different brain areas marks the involvement of these areas in the current task. The pairwise synchronization matrix between the different areas is then interpreted as a graph and analyzed using the graph theory. The brain dynamic is quite often studied using the averaging of the matrices on time, but the brain networks are extremely versatile and quick changing. With the averaging procedure, some important information could be lost. Thus, we think it is more important to describe the complex dynamics on the brain networks with sets of topolog topologically similar networks. We have several assumptions in our work. First, similar cognitive processes share the common brain activity, and we can expect activation of similar brain areas in response to the current task. Second, coordinated brain activity could be evaluated via functional connectivity. Thus, similar brain activity produces similar graphs. And third, topologically similar networks could be clustered based on the topological properties from the general set of networks. How could we identify the topologically similar networks? Our approach is based on network fingerprints. The topology of each network could be characterized by a set of different graph measures. For example, we use the node degree, the number of connections of the node, different centrality measures, for example, between centrality or eigenvector centrality, um, measures of the node importance, and the clustering coefficient, the indicator of the network tendency to divide itself into highly internally connected groups. In our method, we use both measures no nodal, specific for the node itself, and global, describing the whole graph. In addition to the topological measures, we use the graph invariance. The graph invariant is a characteristic which is supposed to be unique for the topologically unique graphs. The, we used the invariance to highlight the uniqueness on the graph, since the graph measures could be identical for the topologically different graphs. The combinations of measures with invariance create a unique network fingerprint that reflects the structure of the network. The fingerprints obtained for the network are then subjected to PCA to reduce the dimensionality of the data, and then we perform the agglomerative clustering on the component scores to divide the general set of graphs into groups of structurally similar networks. After the clustering, we could step back to topological measures and investigate the topological specificity of each group. To test our method of the real data, we choose what is recorded during the Sternberg work memory task. Uh, this task consists of two steps. On the first step, a step of a set of numbers was presented to the participant. On the second, after a short pause, only one number was presented. The participant is required to answer whenever or not that number was previously shown in the set of numbers. During the standard task, 60 for channel EG was recorded. For each trial, the functional activity matrix was estimated via the mutual information criteria and graphs were constructed with the strongest 30% of connections. For the 64 nodes, we have 474 data points for each network fingerprint. We performed our analysis on four different frequency ranges and they are mostly identical. Here we have an example of clusterization in the alpha frequency, uh, 4 to 13 Hz, with three defined clusters. And here is a dendrogram for the lower beta frequency range, 13 to 20 Hz, with five defined clusters. Our result suggests significant differences in the global graph measures between the clusters. This is the distribution of the global graph measures across the clusters and two task conditions. Comparison of the measures between different conditions via NOAA was not significant, but there are significant differences between different clusters. There also is an interaction effect between the condition and cluster, which might suggest that topologically different networks in the two conditions are located in the separate clusters. In general, the clusters could be described as representative of three different states. First, low path length, second, high path length at low clustering, and third, high path length and high clustering. We believe those states indicate the dynamic on the integration with the different brain areas, although details may vary. The most important topological characteristics for the graphs were path length, clustering coefficient, and between the centrality. In conclusion, 
We believe that it is possible to describe complex brain dynamics via the network fingerprint classification. We were able to identify clusters of networks with similar uh, structural properties. The clusters indicate the differences in the brain functional activity in the standard working memory task and might indicate the level of integration between different brain areas. The most important characteristic for the clusters were median path length between the centrality and clustering coefficient. Thank you for your attention.